We have many enhancements to feature extraction. These include a new graphical user interface with the use of images to help us use the dialog box and work our way through it. We have improved partial hole extraction. These are holes that aren't complete that we may want to drill or we may want to contour. We have new developed diameter hole extraction for lathe only and also in configure we can now set up our tool directions. So I'm going to go to file menu, open, what I have here are a couple of solids with a bubble fillet and an inserted panel. So I'm just going to go to the solid model. I'm going to hide the inserted panel. If I go to the isometric view, let's just a zoom window around here, rotate. So what I have here are some uh, partial holes, some KD holes, cam and dowel, and um, a contour here with a bubble fillet to allow me to insert my panel. If I go to the 3D menu, solid model extract, and we're looking at automatic extraction. So what I now have is an, a new intuitive GUI. Um, the whole of this uh, command, um, automatic feature extraction, has been rationalized. We've got tabs here, various operations, and a picture speaks a thousand words. So I have different features depending on what I want to do. So also with the tabs, if I only are interested in doing drillable holes, for example, then my contour tab actually disappears. So I'm interested in these partial holes, so I'm going to go to drillable holes. I'm going to say include partial holes, and I'm going to put an angle in here of 45 degrees. So as I can see here, I've got circles generated on my um, KD hole. Um, also on this bubble fillet and even on these corners. Well I want to contour both of these so if I just undo this I'm going to go back to the 3D menu, solid model extract, automatic extraction. So if I go to drillable holes here I have my angle limit. My angle limit I want to be between 180 and 295 so I'm going to make this 200. So okay to that. So what I now get are just um, drilled holes, geometries with auto Z. So if I go to my machining styles, I can right click and apply to all, finish. What I'm doing now is just drilling those holes. And it leaves me free to uh, contour around the outside. If I go to the file menu, input CAD, I want to input a CAD file. These are the list of my CAD files that I can um, import. In this version, this list is now in alphabetical order. So I want to input a parasolid file. I say OK to that. And it reads in this parasolid file for me. Now if I go to the file menu and to configure general, I have a new option which is include CAD files in recent file list which I have ticked. That means if I go file new and if I go to the file menu and go to my most recent file list, I see that I've also got CAD files. So as well as having AlphaCAM files, in this case .ard files, I can also have CAD files in that list. Now on this part here, what I want to do is pocket out this plateau area here as one operation and undertake this little notch as a, a secondary operation. So if I go to the file menu and I say insert a drawing, 
distance 30 at 0, 0 and I right click and do a solid simulation and play this is ultimately what I want to achieve it appears to be easy but it's not always the case so if I exit out of solid simulation and I undo well if I go to the 3D menu solid model extract and I choose contour around pick faces if I pick here well what I get is a geometry um, with the notch I don't actually want that so what um, feature extraction now supports is F4 close and finish well if I was to sketch some lines on the screen if I just do some 2D lines here so I move from one to the next if I hit the F4 key on the keyboard it close and finish it takes the shortest distance from the last to the first well I'm going to use the same with feature extraction so I'm going to go to the 3D menu solid model extract and I'm going to do a contour from picked edges start pick my edges comes all the way around and then if I hit F4 I get close and finish and then my sets are sorted out for me what I can then do is go to the machine menu set on set open elements and if I go to my machining styles and I right click apply I can undertake the machining operation so close and finish is now supported for edges and this includes three edges for solids feature extraction next thing I'm interested in are these drillable holes if I go to the 3D menu solid model extract I've got drillable hole extraction so if I say OK to that I can pick my circles and now this, hot, this command is now modal so it just keeps going before I ha would have had to choose spacebar between each but what I also have now is an option to manually set my Z so if I go to solid model extract switch this one off I'm going to set my Z manually so I'm going to pick this hole here ask me to pick this bottom and the top I actually want to be the bottom of the chamfer so that sets the Z's for me there what I now have is a uh, turn part in the lathe module if I go to the 3D menu solid model extract automatic extraction what I'm interested in here are drillable holes we'll go back to general I want drillable holes um, and I want my work plane to be created automatically back to the drillable holes tab and in here I want to use the new command radial holes as C axis so if I switch this one on and say OK to that before we proceed we can see that the the image that we have is a turned image except the tolerance so what it's done it's obviously found all my holes there if I select work plane existing geometry right click create a new window which is a work plane I can see those holes now are on that um, developed diameter if I close this and also select a work plane now existing geometry these other holes well, I can see that these are now on a, um, a y-axis work plane also connected to this is if I go to the 3D menu and I say select work plane we've got a new work plane which is developed diameter from solid model face so if I pick the diameter here 
and then it's going to unwrap that diameter for me. Again, if I right click, create a new window on that work plane. So I've got the developed diameter there and I can start using my geometry creation tools to produce geometry, which ultimately I'm going to machine. So what have we just seen in the feature extraction? We've seen in automatic extraction that we've got a new graphical user interface with images and tooltips for each option. Separate tabs only available when required. So for example, if I'm selecting drillable holes only, I don't get the contours tab appear. And we also have context sensitive help once clicked goes directly to the relevant page in the help file. We have the option to use close and finish. So if I'm doing edge extraction, for example, I can close and finish by hitting the F4 key on the keyboard. Uh, this is also available for 3D edge extraction. The drillable hole command is now modal and we have an additional option that allows us to set the Z manually. In lathe, we now have developed diameter hole extraction. And we also have a new work plane selection which is developed diameter from solid model face. Mm.